Hello there, I'm Sean Clancy and uh, welcome to my flat slash studio, guitar studio, here in Tauranga. And what I'm going to talk about today is modes. And modes are actually not as hard as you think. It's a very confusing topic for guitar players and the many books and resources on modes seem to confuse the issue. But I'm going to show you how you may already be using these and you definitely hear them on the radio. So, the first thing we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the C major scale. So here is the C major scale, starting from the 8th fret, as heard in piano recitals the world over. Here we go. The major scale is the foundational building block for all music theory, and we give the scale numbers. Uh, Starting from C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 1. Going up to D, 9, which is the same note as a 2. 10, 11, which is the same note as a 4. 12, 13, which is the same note as a 6. And if you get nothing else out of this video, please get this, that a 9 equals a 2. The same, they're the same notes, D and D in this situation. And 11 equals a 4, uh, which is an F. And 13 equals an, a 6, which in this case is an A. And uh, the next step I want to say is that chords are built from odd numbers uh, based on the scale, which is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. And if you go through some real book or some other book of complicated jazz chords, you'll notice that you'll get things like 13th chords or major 7 sharp 11s. And so those notes, or those numbers I should say, actually have real world applications. Uh, I won't go into that, that's a whole topic. Uh, but we will see how modes, the scales and the chords are all related. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to our note A and we're going to talk about the first mode. The first mode, Ionian, is actually the major scale. The definition of mode is basically, depending on where you start in the major scale, you get a completely different sound. Uh, what I mean to say is where you put your tonal center on any of those numbers gives you a radically different sound and because there's seven notes in this scale uh, we get seven different sounds so number one is ionian that's the major scale it goes over a major chord or a major seven chord and we know the scale because we just did it up on c so it's You can play it any number of ways. Uh, let's uh, just have a muck around in it, see what we can do. And what I'm doing here is I'm outlining the notes of A. Those are my target notes. And you know what they are because they're from that chord. Uh, with my students, I show them how to play the chord all around the neck because you've got like a D shape here. If you've understood, if you've uh, looked at the cage system, you know you've got chords everywhere, all over the place. So, uh, anyway, I digress. If I play a progression such as... Okay, that, my tonal center for that, that whole chord is the key of A. Uh, and A, because it's a major 1-4-5 progression, those chords uh, have that happy, bouncy sound of Ionian, or the major scale, all over it. Obviously, when I'm soloing, for example, or playing chords, or soloing, more likely, I'm outlining the chord that's happening at the current time, playing a note from the chord. It's a very 
very simple example, I'm just going through the... Uh, and I use the notes of the mode as passing tones between the chord tones. So when I start a line, I'm more likely to start on a chord tone, and when I finish a line, it's going to finish on a chord tone. So that makes it more melodic, and you can hear the accompaniment behind the solo if you took the accompaniment back to Russia. All right, so uh, the definition of modes is depending where you start in the major scale, you get a different sound, which leads us on to our second mode, which is Dorian, and that is, imagine I'm saying, now I've changed my major key and I'll take it down to G, I'm starting on the second position, which is Dorian, and Dorian is the minor blues sound. It goes over a minor chord, or a minor seven chord, and the spelling for this is one, two, flat three, four, five, six, Flat seven, one. When you flatten something, it goes one fret or one whole half step in that direction. Um, if you sharpen it, it goes one fret in this direction. So, uh, yes, anyway. So the, the minor blues scale, or the Dorian scale, uh, gives us that sound. differentiates this between uh, this and other minor scales, the other two minor scales that we're going to look at, two minor modes, is that, that note there, which is the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is also the default minor for jazz. Uh, of course, that's a very big generalization, but this sound is more likely what you're going to be playing if you see a minor chord in jazz or it's in a minor key. The relative major, just as an offshoot, the relative major of Dorian is Lydian. And so uh, there's a whole concept about Lydian being like a, a major tonal center. The whole Lydian idea for jazz is, uh, anyway, that's a different topic. Anyway, I, I digress. So the other thing about the uh, Dorian scale here minor blue scale is that we've got the pentatonic notes in there our basic old friend and I'll go down the door saying our major scale now is being moved down to F, is our Phrygian scale, which is a Spanish minor scale. I'm doing everything on the key center of A just so you can hear the differentiation between the different mode, modal sounds. Phrygian is Spanish minor. It goes over a minor chord or a minor seven. And it sounds like this. It's got a one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, also fits the minor pentatonic. Though I don't think the blues notes really work. Well maybe they do. I mean it's up to you. Uh, I don't I don't hear this a lot on the radio with this tonal center. The, the Ionian and the Dorian which we've covered so far we hear often on the radio. 
And I'm talking about pop songs, not, no, no, jazz songs. I'm talking about pop songs. All right, going to the fourth mode, uh, which is called Lydian, uh, and that's off the fourth degree of the major scale, and we get this sound that is like, uh, it's a big favorite of Joe Satriani and Steve Vai. major sound you hear it in films all the time it gives you like a major sound but it's a little haunting so the spelling for this uh, first of all of course it goes over a major chord it's a major mode or a major seven and this starts with a one a two a three then a sharp four five six seven one so the only difference between this and the major scale is this sharp four. And if you want to get that Lydian sound, you really need to target that sharp four. I'll just play around in that a little bit and you can uh, sort of hear how it sounds. Now you might have noticed I did a little lick there, I've got a little lick that I have prepared for this, which is ending on that sharp four. It's important to create licks for all of these modes. Of course, you just don't want to run up and down the scale. And uh, when I teach my students, I try not to get them to start always on the lowest note and go up to the highest note. The idea is to create melodies and uh, you can get some quite nice melodies off this. Want to use your sequences? That kind of thing. So that's Lydian. It's got that haunting major sound. It's a major mode. The only difference between this and the major scale is, or the Ionian mode, is the sharp four. Moving on to the next mode, we've got mixed Lydian, which is a major mode also. So it goes over a major chord. It's a fifth degree bounced off the fifth degree of the major scale and it has the only difference between this between this and the major scale or the Ionian mode is that it has a flat seven so we've got a major blues sound happening here this is our major blues sound so uh, the obviously the uh, the numbering for this is one two three four five six flat seven one Now, being a, a blues kind of thing, I like to use a few devices like going from a minor third to the third, major third of the mixolydian. And we can use a little bit of that uh, flat five blues idea in there as well. This is a major mode major blues mode, and the only difference between this and Dorian, which is the minor uh, blues, is that the major blues, or Mixolydian, has a major third, not a minor third. Alright, so that's uh, Mixolydian. Moving on to our sixth mode, we're almost finished, and we've got Aeolian, which is a natural minor scale, and sometimes it's called the relative minor of the major. Uh, this goes over a minor chord. <laughs> minor mode. Minor or a minor seven. The spelling is one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. And uh, you hear this a lot on the radio. Over this minor mode, just like the other two minor modes, we can put the minor pentatonic scale over top. 
then of course we can also put our blues scale over it. So that's our six degree, the natural, the natural minor scale. And our last one, which is uh, the Locrian, uh, you never hear this sound on the radio because, it, well, not in pop music. It, you're moving more towards the, the sound of jazz. It's uh, got everything flattened except the one and the four from the, the numbering system. It goes over a strange chord, minor seven flat five. And the spelling is one, flat two, flat three, four, flat 5, flat 6, flat 7, 1. In this position it's actually quite easy to play because it doesn't go further than 3 frets. Remember the order of these modes. Well, I've got a mnemonic here that will help you. It's if Dora plays like me, all's lost. If Dora plays like me, all's lost. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. And the triad chords that go in that order also are major, minor, minor, Major, major, minor, minor flat five. The four note chords uh, go major seven for Ionian, minor seven for Dorian, minor seven for Phrygian, major seven for Lydian, dominant seven or seventh chord for Mixolydian, minor seven for Aeolian, and minor seven flat five or half diminished for Locrian. So those are the chords and how they work. Ionian is major, Dorian is minor blues, Phrygian is Spanish minor, uh, Lydian is exotic major, Mixolydian is major blues, Aeolian is natural minor, Locrian is sort of un, you know, unresolved or going towards some kind of jazz sort of sound. Uh, unfortunately, there are four other modal systems uh, well, three other, I should say. Those are just the modes based off the major scale. There's also seven modes based off the harmonic minor scale. There's seven modes based off the jazz minor scale. And there's seven modes based off the uh, harmonic major scale. As well as all the other sy synthetic scales. But the main thing is when you solve target chord tones and use the appropriate scale notes for passing tones. All right, uh, yes, let's talk a little bit about um, the idea of being able to hear these on the radio and recognize them. There's only four modes, really, that you'll hear on the radio. There's Ionian, the major scale, or the major sound, Dorian, the minor blues sound, Mixolydian, the major blues sound, and Aeolian, the minor, natural minor sound. So how do we work it out? First of all, when we hear a song, we think, okay, does it have a minor or major sound? I'm talking about pop songs on the radio. Does it have a major or minor sound? Okay, it's got a major sound. Next question, is it bluesy or not? If it's bluesy, then it's Mixolydian. If it's not bluesy, then it's going to be Ionian. So you use a process of elimination. If it's a minor chord, you ask yourself the same question. Is it bluesy or not? If it's bluesy, it's Dorian, the minor blues. If it's not, it's natural minor, Aeolian. So when you hear a song, like you're playing on a jam, and they say it's in the key of A, and it's got a bluesy sound to it, and it's a minor, you know you can play your Dorian sound in there. that you're going to be working out uh, in due course. Alterations, yes. 
Now, if I play simply in one mode, or if I play chords off the major scale, for example, like these are my one, these are my four, five, three, two, one, six. These chords are not only uh, in the sequence, they're not just one, four, five, six, three, etc. You can also think of them as the modal chords, like number one is your Ionian chord, your four chord is your Lydian chord, your five chord is your Mixolydian chord, your three is your Phrygian chord, your two is your Dorian chord, and your six is your Aeolian chord. Now you're not really, those are six chords, you're not really going to make a lot of use of uh, minor seven flat five in most situations. But there are some alterations that happen when people compose, because if you just use notes that are in the key of, chords that use notes from the key of A major, it's going to sound a little bit samey. So there are two alterations that come into play when you're uh, composing songs or when you hear songs on the radio that you should watch out for. The most prominent one is changing the Phrygian chord, which is usually a minor 7 or a minor chord, into either a major chord or a 7th chord. What that does is it changes Phrygian from Phrygian minor, Spanish minor, to Phrygian dominant, which has that sound... got that kind of Spanish sound to it. So we can see that uh, we're in our test case that we're going to look at in a second. The second alteration, not so common, but they change the second chord, Dorian, into either a seventh chord or a major chord, which is usually a minor chord or a minor seven chord, but they change it to a major. Uh, and we're going to look at that. What Remember what happened when we, uh, we talked about Mixolydian? And we see the only difference between Dorian and Mixolydian is that uh, the Mixolydian is the same notes as the, as the Dorian, but it has a major third. So when you invoke a second chord as a major, you end up invoking the Mixolydian scale rather than the Dorian scale, or the Dorian scale for that chord. Uh, our, ca our case subject is going to be House of the Rising Sun. This Aeolian. Ionian, secondary dominant, Dorian, or about Mixolydian actually, Lydian, Aeolian, Ionian, Phrygian dominant. You also hear this, uh, you've probably played this a few times. That's actually that's actually creating a tonal center on the third chord, but as a dominant. You put that, you can actually use the seventh there, the minus seven flat five in this case. You also hear this uh, third played as a dominant in songs like Stray Cat Strut, uh, Hit the Road Jack, uh, There's a Part of China Girl by David Bowie that uses this. And that is a six or a Aeolian, old Aeolian chord, a mixed Lydian chord or a fifth chord, a fourth chord Lydian. Scale going down to you guessed it an E7 chord, which is our Phrygian, which is usually a minor, but we uh, it gives it a bit more bite when it's changed to a dominant. Sounds a lot better than.
doesn't have the same bite as introducing that uh, dominant chord in there. Right, well that's pretty much modes. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comments below. Uh, if you have any other ideas, I mean this is a very thin venereal idea. I don't like to use the word venereal. <laughs> it's this thin veneer of music theory uh, to do with modes. Uh, like I said, there's a lot, a bunch of other modes connected to other, um, uh, made, you know, other scales. If you're interested in lessons, I'm uh, here in Tauranga. I, um, I'm taking, I've got a couple of students, so I want to build up my clientele a bit more. The other thing is that uh, I also do Skype lessons uh, with my students. I teach them not only just all this kind of thing, but also how to actually play one take solos. Uh, how to, uh, you know, how to swing, like I covered jazz, blues, funk, rock, all that sort of fusion, fusion, I like fusion. Uh, so if you're interested, just uh, hit me up and uh, have a great day and I'm glad I finally got this video going because I was trying all last night and it was just a nightmare after nightmare. Anyway, have a nice day, see you later.